Yeah, I'm Marty Mersinger, and uh, also a solution architect. And um, want to send my welcome out to all of you for attending our first of many 11G uh, webinars. And I just want to go over briefly some of the enhanced features that come with 11G. The first of which is the enterprise reporting. This is based on the BI Publisher technology. Um, as you can see from the screen here, with BI Publisher, you can provide, um, it provides you with the ability to create a lot of different type of reports um, from those that you need to be able to uh, set up very precisely with a very precise layout. Uh, you need information in a particular square on your report, such as in government forms. Uh, the, your operational reports can also be handled through BI Publisher, as well as you know financial statements that may have to go out externally. The BI Publisher itself is nothing new. It existed previously um, and is a major component in many of Oracle's applications, such as eBusiness, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, um, known as XML Publisher previously. The ten, with 10G, it also existed, but it was not as tightly integrated as you'd see with 11G. With 10G, it was basically an independent application that had a link between the OBI to the BI Publisher interface. With 11G, it's tightly integrated in where all of your reports, your data models that you would create with BI Publisher are in the same web catalog that you would find for all of your analysis and dashboard information from OBI. This makes migration much simpler and is a one-stop one for migration rather than having to deploy multiple objects independently. The other thing is with the security aspect, within 10G security was kind of loosely coupled in that it did exist, but at times you had to manage security in two places, not only in OBI, but also in the BI Publisher arena as well. With 11G, all of your security integration is handled through Fusion Middleware. So with now with Fusion Middleware, you've got your single point of security maintenance as well as you have your logging and process controls also available. And quickly take a look at, we can see the, the new interface to BI Publisher. This is truly a thin client. This, this type of information where you had to put your reports together previously was typically done using the desktop interface, which was a plug-in normally added as an add-in to Microsoft Word. But now that's gone away, and we now have a true interface that is part of the OBI uh, user interface suite. You can see you still have the data sources where you have your attributes which are now drag and drop into the report layout. You have uh, your insert information such as if you wanted to add a chart or a pivot table. These are also drag and drop and you can easily manipulate them uh, and move them around to where you get the exact feel that you're looking for. The other thing is with you now have the tabs at the top like insert versus page layout this provides the menu is totally dynamic and makes it much simpler to work with. The data model has also changed as now part of the interface. What we see is when we talk about data model within BI yeah, Publisher, we're not talking about something that can be changed or manipulated. The data model is a set of components such as your data sets, your list of values, and your parameters. What's nice about this with 11G is truly innovative is that previously BI Publisher required a developer to do the work uh, or at least most of the work for you. Now a business user, user has the ability to create the same type of pixel perfect reporting uh, objects that couldn't be done previously. You also have, you can see from the data sets that you've got offices, uh, which is an Excel source, as well as your product sales, which could be an answers analysis report. You can combine those into a single report object, and 
you now can link those together, which required manual coding, you can now handle that through the user interface. So your structural data you can now optimize to get the document and information in the way you want it. The second piece, and I think this is probably the most intriguing of, of the new features, is the Action Framework. So what exactly is Action Framework? It's a service object architecture technology that integrates the BI, BI intelligence um, analysis with your external business processes. So, for example, we can, you can now take the BI information and invoke external processes. Uh, say, example, you're a sales, you're a sales director looking at um, and notice that you've got a region where your, your profit's been going down steadily and you want to set up a meeting. You can click on an, an action link and automatically schedule a meeting with the regional uh, director in charge of that, of that uh, section. You also can go from um, looking at your business processes, you can dive into that information. You can set up your metrics to see how is your business processes working. Are you finding trends where your business process is failing? And you'd be able to see that through your BI publisher or BI uh, dashboard and reports. And finally, you've got the business process themselves can actually call the, the uh, report information so you can act at it, on it. For example, maybe you have, um, um, you want to be able to send letters out to a particular group of people based on their credit reports uh, or their credit standing. So you can use a BI, uh, a BI report that pulls up based on the threshold you set and then automatically generate those, those letters and send those out all within uh, an automated fashion. So how do we get action frameworks? You see here, it's, you can click on the actionable intelligence uh, icon in the left and that will pop up and you have numerous ways of being able to interact. You have navigation links to external content, to web pages, uh, interact with uh, your e-business applications. You can also create in invocations to uh, external web services or Java methods, uh, HTTP request. All of these can be embedded within the BI content such as dashboards, your scorecards, uh, analysis, your, your table views. So it really uh, is, a, is a game changer and how you look at your business in a complete picture from within one tool. As I, I gave you a few quick examples, there's hundreds of different cases, examples of where you can actually leverage um, the action framework. Here's another one which basically is, you know, you're looking at uh, a fulfillment order from a, and notice that an order that uh, has not been received from a particular vendor and this piece you know is now critical. Based on the action framework you can set up a link where you can send it to an external web service to increase that priority of that order and try and get that order in much sooner. The final enhancement that I'd like to go over is with the map viewer integration. Again this is not new technology. It did exist uh, you could use it with 10G, but it, it, was, uh, it was a little bit more cumbersome and required a lot of coding. For those who are not familiar with it, uh, Amy gave a, an overview and gave you a little demonstration of MapViewer. But basically it gives you the uh, user's ability to see within a picture your trends and transactions across regional information. Um, you know, this is truly a technology where uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. So what can we do with uh, Map Viewer and the Map Viewer technology? We can display the geo-dimensional information as you saw. Not only do you have the ability to put pinpoints onto a map, but you can also use it for color coding regions um, 
and you have the ability to drill from a map into more detail information, as well as to be able to zoom on a map. So you may see a, a U.S. map with your regional revenue across the board, and maybe you want to zoom into a particular region. So you can do that as well. You also, as Amy demonstrated, you can interact with the dashboard prompts. Uh, you can uh, f result in filtering from a dashboard prompt, filter your, your maps, and drive information with the, from the map into more detailed content, as well as being able to take a map and interact directly with additional reports or maps, uh, charts that you may have created with uh, the typical BI interface you think of. Finally, you do have animated control, so you have pop-up information as well. Again, map viewers, you can you get an idea of what the ability is, you know, regional information. Here you can look at it from a quartile information. You can kind of picture it from a use case perspective. You're trying to find out in what areas are you doing good, where what areas are you doing bad, and that will pinpoint the information that you need to to be able to pin on and get down into to find out what is the root cause, how do I need to fix this information in order to get my, my numbers back to where I need them to be. All right, guys, and next I want to talk about uh, OBIE search and collaboration. So when, we're, when we think about search and collaboration, what, what do we think about? We think about uh, a real quick Google search, maybe, but uh, with OBIEE, they fashioned the tool in 11G to do something very similar. And uh, what I mean by that is they've now made all of the metadata within OBIE 11G. So that's anywhere from your KPIs to your to comments on KPIs to to metric names. Uh, they've made that searchable. So through the OBI search interface type in a search word, let's say gross margin, you know there's a report out there that has gross margin on it, you type that in, you press submit, and up comes a list of, of objects that, uh, that are clickable that you could possibly reference. These could be reports, these could be dashboards. So it, it provides that immediate um, approach to kind of indexing your information, but at the same time allows you to find information, especially in some of the BI systems that can be very robust. Um, it also integrates with Web Center, um, Oracle Web Center Intelligence. So uh, for those familiar with that, you know, Oracle Web Center is, is very robust um, you know, from, from wikis and, and, and so on. Um, so it integrates directly with that. And then, of course, with Scorecard and Strategy Management Tool. So again, we're, we're talking about a collaborative uh, enterprise system, um, just really trying to build a, a cohesive uh, enterprise around business intelligence. And then, of course, uh, I think I just mentioned we've got comments and dialogues that can be added to, to a lot of the, um, the sections within OBI 11G. And, of course, these are deliverable, uh, deliverable uh, via, via your delivery profile. So these could be going out to your email, uh, your, your mobile phone, et cetera.